guess if I'm wearing purple, I should probably wear a black cardigan. And actually, does it look like it's going to rain? If it rains, I'm probably going to need an umbrella. <laughs> This is a really basic statement that's used quite a lot when thinking like a computer. If you want to think like a computer, then you have to think logically. And an if statement is a really simple way of doing that. If this, then that. If this, so if something happens, then that, something else will happen. So the this part of the statement, if this, is a trigger, then the that part of the statement, is an action. So let's try and think of an example to help us out. If it's raining, then I need to put on a raincoat. Or if I wanted to think about how I could apply this to a real life situation, maybe a car has a sensor, maybe it can sense when it's raining. So if it's raining, it triggers the windscreen wipers to come on and that would be the action. Or another way of thinking about it, if Geek Girl Diaries are involved, then th usually there'll be rainbows and unicorns. What? Okay, it's not a proper if statement. Let's try again. Uh, let's think of something else. If on my Facebook page, somebody uploads an epic photo of me, then I want to be able to receive an email that tells me that someone's tagged me in that photo. So if on Facebook someone tags me, then I receive an email. And that would be the action. If something triggers, then something else will happen. If I was to apply this to computer programming, and in particular, the computer programming language Python, you can see an if statement in this piece of code. Let's see if we can figure out what it's doing. The weight of the object is greater than 50, then we will get a display that says there is a 25 pound charge for luggage that heavy. It's a really simple and easy thing to identify in code. And if we understand if statements, it's a great start to understanding how computers work. Let's put that good knowledge of if this, then that to good use. Let's make it work for you. So I have gone to the website ifttt.com. ifttt.com just stands for if this, then that. So, and it says on the front page, put the internet to work for you. So let's put it to work for you. Let's join the website by clicking join and then entering in a username, an email and a password. Once you've logged in, you will come to your dashboard where you can create your if statement to do something for you. On this website, they call it a recipe. So we are going to create a recipe and it will give you your familiar if statement. If this, then that. So we need to set off our trigger. So I'm gonna click on the word that says this and it gives me all the options of internet sites that I could use as a trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my YouTube channel, my Geek Girl Diaries YouTube channel. And every time I upload a video, I want it to um, put that information onto the Geek Girl Diaries Facebook page. So I've selected my trigger. If YouTube, a new video is uploaded by Geek Girl Diaries, then that, so I click on that, I want it to upload it to my Facebook page. Um, I want it to create a status message. And now I can put in the information that I want it to put on my Facebook page. So it's going to have the title of my video and the URL link to the video. And I can add other ingredients. So maybe I want it to also include the video description. So I can add that. And then I've created the action. Here it is. If YouTube video is uploaded by Geek Girl Diaries, then it will put a status message on my Geek Girl Diaries page. I could give this a description so I remember what it is. And then I can create my recipe. And once I've done that, it was automatically set up to work. I can turn it off and on. So maybe there are times I don't want it to work. Maybe I just want to delete it and start again. Maybe I'm going to share this recipe with other people. So give it a go. What do you want your if statement to do? 
sometimes we need an idea to get us started. So this website has um, a list of other people's recipes. So if you click on browse, you can search through other people's recipes and there's some really good ones on here, like this Facebook to Dropbox. So to download all the photographs in which you're tagged in straight to a Dropbox folder. So there's another really great one here for weather. Every morning, that weather information can be sent to your mobile phone through um, SMS. Every time you use Instagram, upload a picture using Instagram, it puts that picture straight in an album on your Facebook page. And that's a way of getting the internet to work for you using a little bit of logic and a bit of computational thinking. So maybe if you think you understand if statements, what you could do next is you could start learning a programming language and putting them to good use. All programming languages have an if statement and we start with ifs and then we can move up to if else and beyond. So definitely go and have a look. If you do make some really good if.com, if statements, recipes, then let me know, send me an email message, I'd love to have a look. And if you make any Geek Girl Diary ones, that would be amazing. My name is Carrie Ann Philbin, these are the Geek Girl Diaries, and remember, I'm just a mouse click away.